Hello and welcome. You are now looking at the home purchase page for Microsoft Office 365. And you'll notice that at the time of the recording of this video, you can purchase Office 365 for $9.99 a month or $99 per calendar year. And one of the applications in Microsoft Office 365 is going to be Microsoft PowerPoint. And currently, you are looking at the most recent version of Microsoft PowerPoint and it's called PowerPoint 2016. Now you can go to your sign in area and if you have already purchased Microsoft Office, in order for it to work with all of your saved customizations, you'll need to make sure that you're signed in to the Microsoft account that you used when you purchased Microsoft PowerPoint. And the first menu we'll look at in Microsoft PowerPoint is going to be the file menu and it's all the way to the left. And when you click open that interface, what you'll notice is that there are places for you to save your documents as well as for you to open Microsoft PowerPoint documents from specific locations on your personal computer or in the cloud that is associated with Microsoft PowerPoint. In this menu, you also have an info tab. With the info tab, you'll get specific information about the document that you're working with and you can expand the view of those properties by clicking show all properties. One of the features in the info tab is that you'll be able to protect the presentation by, by controlling the kind of changes that others can make to the presentation. Now also in your left side menu, you'll see that you can open a new document, you can open existing documents, and you can save the documents that you're working on. One of the features of PowerPoint 2016 is that any document that you're working with can be saved as a PDF document. Now, one of the other things that you'll see here in the tab is you'll see the account area. And this is where you can get information about updating your product and about your particular license. You can also sign into Office through your PowerPoint document so that you'll be able to get any personalizations that you have made to the settings. We have just gone through the basics of the file menu. In this course, we will walk through all of the basics of the menus as we go across the screen to the right. By the time that we have completed that journey, you will be able to create basic to intermediate level PowerPoint presentations. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the first video. Hello and welcome. You are now looking inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. And one of the controls that you'll have at your disposal is to be able to use your right mouse button just about any place where there is a link or a menu. So for example, if we were to go to the menu bar and we were to use our right mouse button, you'll see the restore, minimize, and close. However, if we were to go to the menu ribbon, and we were to right click any of the menu items, you're going to notice that you're going to get another menu. So for example, you'll get access to the quick toolbar, you'll be able to customize this ribbon or to be able to collapse the ribbon. When you're working inside of PowerPoint, if you go any place inside of your working document and you highlight anything or put your cursor into the document and you right click that document, what you're going to see is you're going to see a list of options, typically those that will mirror some of the options that you have in the menu bar. But right clicking will give you access to the basic and most used applications inside of PowerPoint whenever you use it. Going to the bottom bar will also give you the opportunity to right click and then give you access to several different options where you can customize either the view or the PowerPoint document that you are working in. At any time that you insert or you're using something different than a particular text box, you'll also get a different set of references. So if we right click, you'll notice here a smart art icon. You'll notice then that you get a different set of choices that you can make about this particular issue. You'll also be able to make different choices here in the menu brought up by your right click. When you are doing an actual presentation, you can right click on that presentation and you'll get a different set of options that you can use when you are presenting. And the right click menu will change based on where you are in the menu. So for example, we are looking at the view menu. If we right click there, you'll notice that 
this menu looks different than some of the other ones that we have seen. So if you're wondering what choices that you have when you are inside of a PowerPoint document and you can't remember exactly what you can do from the menu, one of the things that you can do is you can always right click inside of any view where you are and you'll get a list of options that will tell you some things that you can do. And In many cases, this can either jog your memory or stir your creativity about things that you'll want to do on a particular document. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. Now in this video, we're going to look at the home menu. And one of the things that you'll notice right away about Microsoft PowerPoint is that it probably looks similar to some of the other Microsoft applications that you might use frequently. For example, if you were to look at Microsoft Word, you'll see many of the same menu items and you'll also see a ribbon that looks very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint. And that means then that many of the same features that you're already using in other applications, you'll be able to use them in Microsoft PowerPoint. For example, you'll be able to cut and paste from your clipboard. For example, taking text from any place where you would go and copy that text means then that you can use the paste command to paste the text in. And of course, you'd have the option of using the right click feature and then using the very same function. When it comes to cutting and pasting, Microsoft Office in general and PowerPoint in particular will allow you to see a preview of what you're about to cut and paste before you place it inside of your document. So just by hovering over one of the options, you'll be able to see exactly how it's going to look inside of your document and then choose the one that you will want to use. And what you can also do is copy and paste between documents. So for example, if we wanted to take what's in this entire text box and we were to click on the text box outline and we were to right click and then copy this entire text box, we could take the contents and then move them to an entirely different document. So for example, if we were to go to this area and then open a new document, we can come to an entirely blank page inside of that new document, right click to paste, and then paste that content into the new document and you'll see the existing text box. So many of the functions on the home menu function in the very same way as they would any document. So for example, if you wanted to find a particular word inside of your document, if you click the find command, you'd then be able to write in what you're looking for and then find the content just as you would a written document in Microsoft Word. Now there are six sets of features inside of the home menu. There's the clipboard, which we have talked about, the slide menu, the font menu, the paragraph menu, the drawing menu, and the editing menu. Now the drawing menu is very similar to the insert menu because what you're doing is you're placing content inside of your PowerPoint document. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the slide submenu to the home menu. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. We are now going to look at the home menu, and in particular, we're going to look at the slide submenu. Now, one of the things that Microsoft PowerPoint allows you to do is to insert a new slide someplace inside of your PowerPoint presentation. Now, when you insert a slide, what you'll want to do is you'll want to place your cursor exactly where you want the slide to go. So if you want the slide to go between the first and second slide or the second and third slide, you'll need to place your cursor where you want the insert to happen. Then you'll need to click this new slide button and that will place the new slide where your cursor was. So we'll click this link. And in particular, one of the things that we can do is we can determine how the new slide is going to be laid out. So when we click this new slide, you'll notice that there's a drop down menu. We can click the edge of that menu where the little triangle is. You'll notice that you have eight different layouts. So for example, we want to place a title slide in that area. We have a title slide where we can write in a title and a subtitle. You'll notice that we can drop in a title and content slide, which is the typical slide that you'll be working with. 
you'll notice that you can drop in a section header where you have a title and a subtitle. You can drop in a two content box so that you can have two different boxes of content. Now one of the more interesting things that you can do is you can create content by going to the new slide button and you'll notice here that you can go and click this link that says slides from outline. What this will do is this will open up a dialog box where you can look at a Microsoft Word document that you have already created an outline with to bring that content into your Microsoft PowerPoint document. And you can create this outline by going to any Microsoft Word document, going to the view command, clicking on the outline, and then making sure that your outline appears according to the format in the document, meaning that you'll want to make sure that the points that you want to appear in a slide, you want them to be lined up with one of the bullet points. For example, if we hit the backspace here, and we were to bring some of the documents and lines into an outline form, Microsoft PowerPoint will pull these items into a PowerPoint slide. And you'll see that by going to the new slide command, going to slides from outline, grabbing this document, clicking insert, and then you'll see the content come into your PowerPoint slide. Now there is a more detailed process that we will cover in a separate video to help you to be able to properly bring this content into your PowerPoint slide. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.